My name is Christy Rowe, and I'm a professor in the Earth and Planetary Sciences Department at McGill. Every fall, I teach a class called Geology in the Field. It's meant for students who have little or no geology background, but are interested in getting out of doors, learning about the rock record of past climate and past tectonic events, and understanding how we make observations that build our understanding of Earth history. Um, we visit lots of rock outcroppings in and around Montreal, so I'm making this video to give you an idea of how we're going to try to do that. The Montreal area has an interesting geologic history, which is revealed by the major rock units of different ages. In the Grenville Belt, north and west of Montreal, plutonic igneous rocks like granites and high-temperature metamorphic rocks like marbles contain records of continent collision about a billion years ago that formed a mountain chain as high and as long as the Himalayas. Half a billion years later, small continents and island chains crashed into North America as the Proto-Atlantic Ocean was closing. The sediments and volcanic rocks from this era were folded and sheared, forming the Appalachian Mountains and this schist on Mount Sutton. Most recently, when North America was depressed by the weight of great ice sheets, the sea flooded this area and left layers of sand and glacial rubble called till. Bear, seal, and whale teeth in these sands tell us who was living here at this time. The stars show the location of some of the field trips I like to take with this class. Here's an example of one of the field trips that we will be taking on Mount Royal. This is part of the Laval Formation. Uh, it's the same type of rock underlies much of Montreal and the surrounding area. And you can see that there are layers of different colors here. The kind of massive featureless gray layers are limestone. And in between the limestone layers, we see these thinner, darker layers, which are, uh, have a little bit more clay in them. So this records the conditions in the ocean about 430 million years ago. At that time, the Appalachian Mountains to the south of me were starting to rise. And uh, the climate was very warm, much more tropical than today's conditions in Montreal. Uh, so these individual layers re record uh, environmental change in the ocean. They might be seasonal. They might be um, the record of individual floods or storm events. Uh, and we can also see quite a bit of shelly fossil material in here that tells us who was inhabiting the Ordovician oceans. So just in front of me here, I can see um, tiny ancient echinoderms called crinoids. They have little round fragments that make up their stem. I can see little shelly fragments that look like they might have been part of a tri trilobite carapace. And so these are some of the observations that we can make even just walking through an urban park. In addition to these virtual field activities, we're going to be doing a ton of online discussion and group work around understanding and reading geologic maps, learning how to read geologic cues from different kinds of remotely sensed data and photography of the landscape, and understanding how geologists represent the third dimension and preparing for future field mapping activities. I'm hoping that after this course, you'll have a very good idea of how we understand events of the past, um, climate, the formation of ore deposits, natural disasters, a lot of things that affect human life and society. Um, and also you'll be able to go anywhere in the world to your own hometown or new places that you happen to visit. And you can go out and, and have the tools to make your own observations and understand the rock record for yourself.